Psalm 46 says, God is our refuge and strength and always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when the earthquakes come and the mountains crumble to the sea. The Lord of angel armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. He causes wars to end. He breaks the bow and snaps the spear. He burns shields with fire. The Lord of angel armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. I love that picture that no matter what's going on around us, whether absolutely everything is crumbling, we can trust that the God of angel armies, Jehovah Sabaoth, is right by our side, being our fortress and our protector. The Bible mentions Jehovah Sabaoth 270 times, and each time it's when people are like calling out to him for help. Hannah calls on the God of angel armies to help her when her adversary is just being so vile to her because she can't have children. She calls out to God of angel armies to hear her and answer her prayer and provide her with a son. And he does just that. And David, when he's facing that massive enemy of Goliath, he also comes in the name of the God of angel armies. I love the picture that God is like a a warrior with all his angels around him who can win any battle. And I trust that that God is here with me no matter what battle I'm facing. Are you facing a battle today? Are you worrying about your circumstances? Are you battling with illness, battling with family members and problems and life in general? I would just call on you to trust the God of angel armies that he will always be by your side always protecting you and I've got two teenage daughters and I have worried about them when they're out of the house because I'm not there to look after them but as they grow up you learn that you have to let go and I just put my trust in Jehovah Sabaoth that when the girls are out they nothing can come against them because God has put his angel army protecting them and I don't mean just the angels that we think about at Christmas who've got feathery wings and halos and all fluffy and nice but think about the angels with sword drawn that we hear about in the Old Testament. Sword drawn, fearsome army angels protecting my girls, protecting you too. There's nothing to fear with Jehovah Sabaoth looking out for you. So what are you facing today? Let's just pray. Father God, thank you that you are the God who protects us. You are our shield. You are our fortress. And any problem, any issue, any enemy, any battle that we may need to face, we're not doing it alone, God, because you are right there with us. You're right by our side. You are our Jehovah Sabaoth. There is no enemy that you cannot defeat. There is no battle that you cannot win. There is no mouth you cannot close. And there is no miracle that you cannot perform, Lord, when we just put all our trust in you and we call upon you. We thank you for being God, our fortress, God, our rock. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, trust Jehovah Sabaoth today. Trust him to be right by your side, fighting your battles with you, fighting your battles for you. You haven't got to do it alone. And if you need a song to listen to to help you today, have a look on YouTube at the God of Angel Armies. That talks about exactly what we've mentioned today. The God of Angel Armies is always by my side. Whom shall I fear? You don't need to fear. God's got your battle for you. Have a great day. God bless.